All right, so here's a video of a Coke machine that I've got here. This is a Vendo 39. Um, they started making these in 1949. So kind of a cool old antique Coke machine. Um, it's in very good shape. This is a survivor. Um, it's um, entirely complete. Everything functions as it should. It, uh, it has all of its original hardware and everything is really in very good shape. Uh, it's never been restored. Uh, and I'll uh, sort of go through things now here for you. Uh, so, uh, well, first of all, let's, uh, let's just show you how it vends a coat. We'll show you how this works, kind of neat. So you take your, in this case, we're gonna put some nickels in there, 10 cents. Wouldn't it be nice if Coke still cost 10 cents? So put the money in, as you can see right now, you can't get the Coke out because, well, that's because you haven't vended one yet. So you push this down, the drum inside rotates, and you grab a Coke. There you go, a nice cold Coke, and they are indeed very cold. I'll just put that back because I don't feel like having a Coke right now. So, uh, so that's how that works. Um, I'll just go through sort of what, uh, what the innards are like. Uh, so it comes with a key, obviously, as I said, 100% complete. I'm just gonna try and do this with one hand here. This is how you uh, open up a Vendo 33. Kind of a neat thing there. So that opens up. Got the original coin mechanism. Um, got the original box for the money and uh, this is where the bottle caps go. So that's all intact, everything's there and in very good shape considering the age. Again, this has never been restored. Uh, it's, it's a total survivor. It's really pretty remarkable that everything is in as good a shape as it is. Uh, so this is the drum, and that's where you, know, you load it up with Cokes, 39 Cokes. Um, and uh, down here, I guess, would be room for, you know, if you were stocking it, you could put some extra coke there. I've opted to put some Corona in there. Um, there's a little Ziploc bag with some really old coke bottle caps that were in it when I got it. They were uh, in the bottle cap collector that I showed you a minute ago. Um, so yeah, uh, as far as everything goes in here, the uh, wiring's been redone uh, and, uh, and I had a, a refrigeration tech install a modern compressor. So that's a brand new modern compressor. The old one when I got it, did work, but uh, it had some issues, and uh, you know, we just wanted wanted for everything to work the way it was supposed to, and um, you know, cool efficiently, and uh, just something that you'd be able to plug in and not worry about racking up crazy hydro bills, and uh, you know, not worry about burning your house down. So uh, it runs perfectly. It's extremely cold. If you turn up the thermostat all the way, it will in fact freeze the coax. So it's sort of half right now. Um, everything runs well, it's pretty quiet, the fans don't make any noise, and the compressor, being that it's so new, is very silent. So that's all good. Basically, uh, you know, what we're dealing with is a complete, ready-to-go, turnkey Coke machine. So if you're looking for one of these, um, this is the one to get. I'm just going to lock it up here. There you go. So another look at it. That's how it looks up front there. Um, the only cosmetic sort of bobo that this thing has is up here. I'll try and get a shot of it. There is a ding here. So I don't know what happened, but uh, at some point in its long life, it got a ding on the side of it. But beyond that, um, it's in really fantastic shape. It's, um, you know, and, and as I said, all original uh, so yeah, basically that's it. If you're looking for one of these, this is a pretty good option. Uh, as I said, turnkey, ready to go. Uh, you know, load it with cokes, plug it in, and uh, and there you go. Great for you know, basement, man cave, uh, whatever. And uh, you know, it's not an overly enormous model, so fits in lots of places. So yeah, um, if you are searching for a coke machine, then this is a pretty good option. So there you go, and uh, you know. It could, it would be a good candidate if you were to, if you wanted to restore it and make like a crazy awesome like new looking Coke machine, get it all repainted, you could. Um, but you know, 
if I were to keep this, if this were something I was going to keep in my garage or something, I would just honestly leave it just the way it is. It's, uh, it shows well, and, um, you know, as I said, the paint is still very shiny, nice. It looks, it really looks good. Um, so, yeah, if I were to keep this, I would just use it as is. But, uh, so anyway, there you go. That's the Coke machine, and, uh, yeah, if you're interested, uh, you know, give me a call and uh, come down and have a peek. All right, so uh, so that's it.